Okay, so we're being recorded and it is 8.30. Uh, according to what I see on my screen, we have 10 participants, which is probably less than we expected, but uh, more than just the team of organizers. Hopefully... The people who registered, I think, isn't it? <laughs> uh, how many people have registered, by the way? Um, almost 100 people. Okay. So have... Yeah, people are connecting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jaya. Hello, Juan Enrique. Hello, Yeltsin, Vinyasha. Hello. Hello, okay, everyone. So, yeah, hello, everybody. And uh, probably let's get started. Uh, while I will be talking nonsense, maybe other people will connect and we will have full house. So anyway, uh, let me remind everybody that this is our fifth Wombat. It started by a small group of uh, Australian mathematicians uh, four years ago. And at that time, of course, we, we didn't expect it to become an annual event, but here we are. It is an annual event, and this is already the fifth time we are enjoying Wombat. Uh, but I must say that from the very beginning, actually, it became international because occasionally we have international visitors. We don't have funds, of course, to support visits to Australia, but uh, we always used to have international visitors, optimizers in Australia during that period, and they participated in Wombat's. And now, because of the COVID, we are getting more and more international. So we are trying these online ways of doing things, in particular conducting workshops, which is obviously a challenging exercise. Uh, a positive thing, as I already mentioned, is that now we are getting even more international than previously. So my apologies to the participants from outside of Australia, probably for partially ruining your weekend. In Australia, it is Monday morning, but uh, in Europe, it is still Sunday, I believe. And we, we don't have at the moment participants from America. Uh, for them, it is probably mid afternoon or something like that. So- uh, Yeah, Boris here. Who is here? Uh, we have Boris from America. Ah, Boris is here. As I said, I can't see uh, the names because of this presentation running. So by the way, yes, please enjoy this presentation of photos. And uh, of course, uh, all, everybody can recognize Alex Rubinov, but probably some of you can also find yourself at some of these photos. So we have some nice memories. So talking about this online mode, which we are trying now, uh, there are plenty of uh, workshops now running online. There are plenty of seminars. We also started our own seminar some time ago. But uh, with this workshop, we are still trying to be a little bit different. So what was special in the past about Wombat is our uh, friendly home-like atmosphere. So we're trying to keep it for online version as well. And uh, you see, uh, I'm not wearing a tie. Sorry, <laughs> Barney, you are probably the only one with a tie at our Wombat. Uh, and uh, we're thinking about having not just talks, 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 and talks. Of course, we would be happy to, to have all, also coffee breaks. Uh, I'm not sure whether it is easy to organize in the current format, uh, but uh, the idea uh, suggested by Vera was to have uh, some discussions during the workshop not just presentations, more maybe presentations by key note speakers, by key figures in optimization 
followed also by uh, some discussions on the topic raised during the presentation or identified by the presenter. So this is the idea. Uh, the whole workshop, as you know, is dedicated this year to Alex Rubinov, who, who has made a lot actually during his time in Australia and uh, also before moving to Australia, he contributed to optimization, but we will talk about it uh, later. I just want to remind you that the first day of this workshop is totally uh, a Rubinov day. After this short introduction, uh, we will have a special memorial session with people sharing their uh, memories of Alex Rubinov. Uh, then in the afternoon, uh, there will be a session, more mathematical, more technical session when people will present on topics uh, where, in which Alex Rubinov was involved and contributed to which. And uh, in the evening or at night, there will be an annual uh, Rubinov Memorial Lecture. And I want to mention that this last event of the day is a little bit different from the others. First, technically, it's going to be not in Zoom, but in Microsoft Teams. And the link, uh, so everyone who is attending, attending that event, is supposed to register. The link is in the program. Just click on the link if you haven't done it before. And you will get an email with the actual link to the lecture. Uh, but be a little bit cautious. We've already experienced the situation when uh, emails, uh, uh, notifications, uh, they actually end up in the spam folder. So keep your spam folder regularly. And with this annual lecture, it is actually older than our workshop. It's going to be the 13th, as far as I remember, annual Rubinov lecture. So we are continuing with them and uh, the lectures are actually organized and managed by Federation University of Australia, where Alex Rubinov used to work uh, in the past. So uh, I keep talking and you are definitely here not to listen to my words. Uh, let me use this opportunity to introduce the team of organizers for this workshop. So uh, for those, uh, if occasionally there is someone who doesn't know me, I'm Alex Kruger. Uh, I, I, up until this month, I'm with Federation University Australia and partially also in the next month. And we have a team of Australian organizers. Uh, may I introduce, uh, unfortunately, I don't see photos. I, I, I will name people, those who, whom I see on the screen. So uh, I see Julian in front of me. So. Julian Ugon is one of the organizers of Hello. our workshop. He represents Deakin University, which was supposed to be a sponsor of this event. Maybe it is still a sponsor, uh, but the idea was uh, actually to get some funding uh, to, to have very nice conditions in, in Geelong, our good uh, city on the shore, on the seashore. Unfortunately, COVID changed our plans, but okay, Julian is here. I don't see, uh -huh. Ming is at the top of my screen, Ming Dao. Now he's also at Federation University of Australia and he's supposed to strengthen our optimization group. And uh, let's hope that it will be like it is planned. And uh, you see, Ming is very active. He is involved in organizing whatever we are organizing, in particular, uh, this workshop. So thank you, Ming, for doing this for us. Uh, Andrew Eberhardt, I don't see him, but I believe that- I'm he here. 
<laughs> around. Okay, so <laughs> wave your hand. Uh, Andrew Eberhardt uh, from RMIT University in Melbourne. Uh, on several occasions, Wombat was hosted by RMIT University and uh, Andrew played an important role in this uh, history, obviously. I don't see anybody else. Uh, is Renye here? Okay, so theoretical, theoretically, we have one more organizer. Uh, you wouldn't believe me, also from Deakin University. Uh, Renye moved relatively recently to Australia, to Deakin University from South America and now is helping us organize various things. You see that Melbourne is dominating our organizing committee uh, at the moment. Okay, let's proclaim ourselves the capital city of optimization in Australia. Well, there are no others who would complain. Um, Nadia, Nadia, are you here? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and, and also on the, on the photo. Okay, the photo has already disappeared. So Nadia Sukharukova uh, represents Swinburne University, again, uh, Melbourne. And uh, Nadia was involved uh, as the others uh, in organizing Wombats from the very beginning. Uh, Vera, Vera, are you here? I'm here, hello everyone. Okay, everybody knows Vera Roshina, uh, who uh, moved recently from Melbourne, relatively recently from Melbourne to Sydney. Okay, uh, Sydney optimizers or mathematicians need support, obviously. So we delegated Vera to improve things in mathematics in Melbourne. Ah, I forgot, we have one more representative from Sydney. Sorry, Barney. Uh, so you, you have strong support now in various uh, ways. So I've uh, introduced the organizers. Now we still have uh, 18 minutes. Uh, I think uh, we also need to mention a few things about the organization of uh, our workshop. And uh, I believe Nadia is going to tell us about the organization, something. Nadia, is it right? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, hello everyone and thank you Alex for introducing me. Um, so uh, as Alex already mentioned, this year we are trying to run our workshop in a different way. So, and uh, the first challenge uh, we faced was of course um, the um, program for the uh, for the workshop so uh, it was really very difficult to somehow group participants based on their topics so instead we had to actually group them geographically uh, basically it depends on the time of connection so um, most our uh, talks are in the morning and also at night so I think we have only uh, well today and also one more uh, day when we have uh, afternoon sessions, so mostly it's morning and uh, night. So, um, and um, that was, I should say, it was really very difficult to um, uh, organize it uh, so that it would be convenient uh, for every well, for, for the speakers and also uh, for us to manage. So, uh, but uh, if you have some suggestions, so not just about the program, about everything um, during this workshop. So we actually would like you to contribute. So if you tell us, it's like a mirror, a big mirror. So if you learn how to dance, you need the feedback. So we are asking for your feedback about it. So I don't have, uh, for, for those who doesn't know, actually Wombat is uh, a native Australian animal. And so that's the mascot of this uh, workshop. And normally we have it uh, with us, but this year it is actually locked in my office and I can't go there. I need special permission. And I don't think it's actually worth, uh, you know, going on campus. So I thought it was locked in my office. In, in your office, the big one, we also have a portable one. Ah, portable. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> So yeah, we have we have two. One is the main one, so it, it, that's probably really in Alex's office, and we also have a portable one, so which is in mine. 
Um, and uh, uh, but in any case, uh, we don't know if it's uh, uh, the only time we have uh, our WOMBAT online or maybe next year it will be the same. So in any case, we're all very happy to see you all here. And some of you will join us a little bit later. So, um, well, thank you very much for coming, for contribution. Without your contribution, we probably wouldn't be able to do anything. So, and uh, that's probably all what I uh, would like to say. Um, so now, I think- Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, Nadia. I, I just want to add to that, that indeed, this is our first trial of uh, conducting Wombat in this regime. And uh, we can't guarantee that there won't be glitches. Sorry for that in advance. Hopefully there won't be any. But in case something happens, uh, feel free to, and please do, by the way, contact the organizers in some way and inform us that something goes not right and make suggestions. Because in many places, at many universities, you already gone through this stage and you know in advance possibly what can go wrong, but don't, don't make it go wrong, please. And uh, on the screen, as you can see, uh, two items, join, join Slack and register. I already talked about the second item and now possibly uh, Vera is going to explain about the first one and uh, how to behave. Please, Vera. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Um, thank you, Nadia, also for explaining all the major details about the program and the workshop. So just, um, yeah, we are trying the online format for the first time. Uh, we figured that um, other conference organizers successfully used uh, some kind of chat feature. And for this chat feature, we chose Slack. So but before I go to explain Slack, please remember that we have the website. Let me, I'm sure everybody knows uh, what uh, the website is, but I'm just going to post it, right? Then uh, we also have a Twitter. So please, uh, if, if you're not yet in Slack, uh, visit the website to learn about updates, uh, subscribe to our Twitter, or follow us on Twitter. So Twitter is fed on the website. So everything, all important information, all urgent information is going to be posted there on the first page of the website and on Twitter. But please also join Slack because we hope that in Slack we will be able to have some discussions and because some things will happen asynchronously, right? You, some people are unable to attend some talks because they're in different time zone. There may be some interesting discussions following the, the talks. So please uh, try to a chat and discuss things in Slack, please join Slack. It's, it's, it's really easy. We try different options and Slack is probably the easiest tool to use for this kind of chatting. And also, uh, it's an important message to everybody that the presentations are going to be recorded. We're going to record all talks. And if you don't want to be recorded, please let us know explicitly. So everything is going to be recorded and yeah, this, this session is also being recorded. Yeah, so um, join Slack, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, check the website from time to time. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So thank you very much everybody for um, joining and for participating. Thank you, thank you, Vera. And indeed, this uh, suggestion to join Slack, it's a kind of a replacement for traditional coffee breaks when people get uh, somewhere, two people, three people, groups of people to, to talk actually at mathematical conferences. Um, research is done not really during the presentations, but uh, very often during coffee breaks. Uh, I'm not sure whether this uh, option Slack is a perfect replacement for coffee breaks. I personally still like coffee and also like seeing people around, not only on the screen. So use these options, please. And uh, we, we can see that uh, people are already joining. Okay, good. Uh, we still have uh, a few minutes. I'm probably passing the ball to Andrew to to do the next introduction. 